This video provides an introduction to the change tracking and the configuration layering features from the Environment Manager 8 Feature Release 4. We will show you how to enable change tracking, add a layer to the Environment Manager console, update the layer and subsequently roll it back to the previous version. We will then examine the changes we have made in the configuration's history. Change tracking allows you to record all activity which occurs within the Environment Manager configuration so you can see what has changed, who performed the action and when. Configuration layering allows complex configurations to be built independently and combined into a single deployable configuration which maintains the origin of each configuration item. This video uses the example of an administrator who is responsible for producing a configuration and deploying that configuration to endpoints. The configuration is made up of a host and two layers, each of which is maintained by separate teams. Once the layers have been added to the host, the layered configuration is saved and deployed to endpoints. Enabling change tracking on the host configuration. A standard AEMP file is open in the Environment Manager console. This will be used as the host configuration to which layers are added. To start recording changes, simply select the Change Tracking ribbon and click Enable Change Tracking. This records all activity in the configuration. The data can be viewed in the configuration history which we will examine later. For this demonstration, the host configuration contains one node in the computer startup trigger called Host. Adding a layer to the host configuration. A new configuration has been created which needs to be added to the host and pushed out to users. To add the new layer, select the Manage Layers ribbon and click Add. Click Add again and navigate to the layer you want to add. The Add Layer dialog shows that the layer we are adding is new and not an update to an existing layer. Depending on requirements, layers can be added as full configurations or library layers. Library layers contain only reusable nodes and conditions and items from the Message and Run as libraries. For this example, we are adding the layer as a full configuration. The layer has been analysed and no errors have been found. We can view the layer in a new instance of the console by clicking the layer name. Our new layer contains one node in the computer startup trigger called layer 1.0. Back in the host configuration, click OK to add the selected layer. As we can see, the node from the layer has been added to the host. Unlike the node in the host, it is read-only as denoted by the padlock in the node title bar. The title bar for the node also shows the name of the file and the version number of the layer it belongs to. Save to create a single configuration containing the nodes from the host and the layer. As we enable change tracking on the host configuration, we can view the changes since the last save. The add layer is listed showing which node has been added. Updating a layer. Layers can be updated independently, meaning there is no impact on the host or any other layer. An important change has been made to the layer which needs to be pushed out to users. We can add the new version of the layer directly to the host configuration, which will automatically update the existing layer. To update the layer, select Add from the Manage Layers ribbon and navigate to the new version of the layer. This icon shows that the incoming layer is an update to an existing layer. We can also see that it is version 2 of the layer. By clicking view, we can see the changes made to the layer between versions. Two nodes have been added in the new version, layer 1.1 and child node. Click OK to update the layer. 
As we can see, the nodes from the new version of the layer have been added to the navigation pane. The updated configuration can now be deployed to endpoints. Rolling back a layer. An error has been discovered in the new configuration which is causing issues for users. To ensure that users can continue to work whilst the layer team solves the issue, we can roll the layer back to a previous working version and deploy to users. Click Rollback and select the layer you want to roll back. Browse to the previous version of the layer. The dialog shows that the layer is currently at version 2 and the layer we have selected to roll back to is version 1. Click OK to perform the rollback. The previous layer has now been reinstated. As we can see, the node and the child node from version 2 are no longer present in the host. The updated configuration can now be saved and deployed to endpoints. We can now view a summary of the changes we have made. As we enable change tracking, all activity in this configuration has been recorded. By selecting Configuration History from the Change Tracking ribbon, we can see further information about the changes. The history shows us details of the change for example, a node was added when the layer was imported. The area of the configuration in which the change was made, in this case, the computer startup trigger. And finally, details of who made the change and when the change was made. Further information and guidance for change tracking and configuration layering can be found in the AppSense Environment Manager Online Help and the Policy Product Guide.